see, um, we had some Q posts yesterday, and they were kind of interesting. I thought they were, you know, I, I discussed a few of them on the live chat, really trying to make it clear to people that, um, you know, Q knew in advance that um, <clears throat> Sessions was going to take the step to fire McCabe. And I've tried to explain how the firing of McCabe was really a recommendation that came down from the Inspector General through the Office of Professional Responsibility. You know, I mean, this McCabe did about everything you can think of. You know, he, he took money from McAuliffe for his wife to run for state senate in Virginia. <clears throat> they lied, leaked. Uh, worked with Strozik and Page on the Fusion GPS dossier. Um, uh, I changed the interview request from Strozik with um, General Flynn. I mean, this guy's a bad guy. He's a complete operator. You know, it was in there as a political operative, not as a official of the Department of Justice or the, of the FBI. Um, this 953 we got yesterday, <clears throat> when uh, Q says, how bad is the corruption? I says, FBI past, present. Uh, I think number one, number one, number two must be um, uh, must be uh, Mueller and um, uh, Comey. And number two, probably Rosenstein. I mean, I don't... I don't think he is saying Christopher Ray is corrupt because he's before said Christopher Ray was um, to be trusted. And this plus 29, I guess there's 29 others and 16. I'm not sure what the 16 means. Do we come to any real resolution of what these numbers mean? No resolution, but we thought 16 might be singing. Maybe. Department of Justice would be Holder and Lynch. And then number two in the Department of Justice, that would be Rosenstein. And number two in the FBI would be McCabe. And who's Rosenstein married to again? Um, is he, is this, this attorney? Uh, hold on a second. Someone sent me an email on this, which was very good. Um, Arsumian or something? Um, it's a woman who's defended a lot of Democrats, including Lisa, including, Lisa Bar Barzaman. Yeah, uh -huh, that's right. I'll see if I can find the um, email I got on it, but I got a good one. Lisa so Barsomian. Barsomian, yeah, Barsomian is her name, and she is represented a lot of these people multiple times um, here. Let me see if I can check this out. She's very cute. If you haven't seen her. But she represented Mueller three times, Comey five times, Barack Obama 45 times, Kathleen Sebelius 56 times, Bill Clinton 40 times, Hillary 17 times between 1998 and 2017. Represented the FBI five times. They think she's a CIA operative. This was a <clears throat> post over in the um, Q Research Post back a while. And um, it's clear that Q is saying that, you know, the, the corruption, there's plenty of corrupt people still there. State State Department number one, well, I guess Hillary, and then who was Secretary of State before Hillary was, or after after Hillary was um, Kerry, John Kerry. Removal is the least of their problems. Right, well, I should be worried about being convicted now. Uh, projection, um, Hillary projected uh, the the, Russia collusion on to Trump when she, in fact, was the one who was colluding with Russia. <clears throat> and the Twitter bots 
uh, Google operated, not Russia, for the narrative and the political. I mean, I know that um, uh, Soros was getting a lot of Google, uh, a lot of bots sending in letters to the FCC when the net neutrality was under consideration. And um, you know, these people can make the bots look like they're Russian when they're Google operated. It's it's easy to mask them, you know, and make it look like it's coming in from an IP address. It could be identified with Russia. I would think you could do that. Uh, slant, <clears throat> Biden in China. Biden's another one. His son getting this big development deal. Traders everywhere. America for sale. That impressed me because that's the second time. That's the title of one of my books, America for Sale. And um, it's the second time that Q has used that. Uh, he did it before. Let me find it again. Here a second. And it, it was in um, <clears throat> post 466 where he was saying, why is Hussein traveling around the globe for money? <clears throat> you know, who are the players? What are the rewards? America for sale. Patriots in full control. We will make more public. Saudi Arabia was strategic. We know, do as we say or face consequences. These people are stupid. So he said America for sale is used twice. And um, I don't think it's coincidental. I mean, I think he's kind of, you know, acknowledging what we're doing here. What do you guys think? Oh, I agree. I agree. It's another knowing <clears throat> that we're being watched and followed and, and Q agrees with what we're doing, getting the word out. <clears throat> Flynn. Flynn was targeted. Why? Uh, Flynn knows where the bodies are buried. Remember Flynn's military intelligence. And, and I think so is Q. Um, so let's start digging them up. Well, that's probably... <laughs> let's get some corpses and some DNA testing going on. Cleared of all charges. I'm hoping that's meaning that Flynn will be cleared of all charges. And I covered that in a live stream, too, how uh, basically um, this new judge has demanded that um, Mueller turn over all exculpatory evidence, the Brady Rule, which would probably mean turning over how they altered the 302 interrogation report from Strozik, perhaps to frame Flynn. Trump administration, yeah, pardon me? Oh, sorry, sorry, just agreeing. Go ahead, sir. Gran Torino, it was, I'm very pleased that InfoWars picked that up. Well, thank and, you, sir, yeah. And it's gotten, that video has gotten on my, um, <clears throat> my posting of it since yesterday, it's got, um, I posted it this morning, and it's now got almost 14,000 views. Amazing. Yeah, he's since this morning. Out. Five and a half over here, and uh, a couple of blogs have picked it up and posted it. So it's a couple of rumblings happening here. Well, it gets the word out. You know, it, it, it puts people <clears throat> in the know that before may not have known anything about it. And that's, exactly. I think, that's really an important thing to do. Um, Thank you for that, sir. I really appreciate that. Well, I think it was a great, I think it went very well. And uh, Charles and I have worked so long together that, you know, I've, I have a good sense of his where he's thinking and how he's working, so I can feed him things and ask him questions like I was trying to do. Well, you let him skillfully, so you let him in the right direction, so everywhere we needed to go. He certainly nailed it, didn't he? I mean, Charles but, is he, he's a brilliant guy. And all, he, uh, all, all extemporaneous. You know, he didn't have any notes or preparation for any of that. Donald referenced and all, all soluble. All the sauce was there ready to see. Yeah. It was a re really good one. Thank you, sir. Thanks you again. Uh, yeah, so Grant he said, um, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, Grant Trino, I want to congratulate you on your successful show. 
but I, I also want to, you know, thank you for doing that for Ireland. I mean, this is a worldwide event, and so you're really sticking your neck out there doing this. Because you guys got those speech laws over there. You're taking a risk with this. Five by five. Well, just keep us informed. Well, do, sir. Thank you for all your efforts. And also, in the chat, they had, they mentioned the, – the, I'm going to paraphrase here, but the question is about, like, the, the – how this information is going to be released in media, you know, because supposedly, I mean, this Q stuff is going to be coming out, right? And and how does that compare to when the midterms start kicking in? Well, um, <clears throat> you know, I think it's all time for this. I mean, if you think about getting a second special prosecutor now, assuming that they can get one that's going to be good, um, it should just be heating up at the time of the November elections. You know, we sh the Democrats ought to be facing <clears throat> indictments and um, prosecution starting. And, um, you know, there should be quite a lot of activity going on. Uh, even the Clinton Foundation, we'll, let's, get the, let's get the Clinton Foundation shut down before the midterms. That'd let's be a take huge all blow. the money back and put it in the treasury. That's uh, right. Pays down some of the deficit or the debt. Um, Trump administration version two. I think we're seeing version two of the Trump administration. New people. Election theft. That's going to be the next. That's going to be a big subject coming on, with this DHS report. And I think the election in Pennsylvania is going to be fought now in the courts. And I don't think the Democrats are going to win. They're going to be exposed for some of their election fraud with the voting machines. Last hope, and it's always, you know, that last great hope, Abraham Lincoln's phrase, congressional focus. Um, Congress is moving for special prosecutors. Calls are increasing. Impeach. Um, I think the impeachment drive is dying, except that, you know, what the Democrats are going to try to do is get a, Democratic House so that they can have impeachment hearings. If they control the committees, they'll try to do that. Um, they think you're stupid. They think you will follow the stars. Anybody have any reference on that? I mean, they think we're going to be astro following astrology, or I don't think well, so. I, I, think they, I think they mean the stars in the uh, political and uh, – uh, entertainment industry. Yeah, Hollywood, then. Hollywood's what I was thinking. Yeah. You know, I don't think anybody here is going to follow Hollywood. Well, not here, uh, but the mainstream. People are mainstream. Yeah. Doing... Oh, yeah, but they won't. Anybody that it, – it's always amazed me that people who uh, look to these Hollywood actors who are getting paid to lie for a living convincingly – why they uh, look at them and think that they've got anything uh, valid to say. You know, it's um, for, the, for the 10 minutes I watched the Oscars uh, before I couldn't stand it anymore. Um, it's hard to know even who any of these people are. I don't know any of these people, these stars. Is the audio down? Is the audio down? Are you hearing that in live chat? I can hear it. Oh, you mean on uh, YouTube? Um, just YouTube. YouTube seems that no. Audio's fine. Audio's fine. YouTube seems to be in good shape. Um, five by five. Good comments. Yeah, you know, good comments over there. A lot of good comments over there. It's going fast. Yeah, people saying they're hearing us. Everything is good. Five by five. Yeah, five by five. <laughs> Everything's good. <laughs> We've got a really dedicated and informed live chat. Oh, smart people, good people, really following things. I'm always appreciative of the live chat. Hey, we got to give the hats off to the uh, moderators over there. I mean, we've really trimmed this down. we got a really solid chat because of the moderators. They know mm -hmm. how to get rid of the bad guys. It's been very good. And <clears throat> I'm very impressed with how many good comments there are over here. In the live chat. A Hollywood stars for many years. This is Victoria Walton. 
For many years, Hollywood stars used to be the U.S. royalty, and many people followed them. I don't think so anymore. If somebody's mentioning Valerie Jarrett. Now, that's that's a subject that I'd really like to get into more because she goes way back with Obama, unless she, by way of Michelle. Yeah, we then we should do a show on her. Also, the SES people are mentioning. We've got to do. We've got to start covering some of the SES as well. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. That's again merits more of a special show too. Um, <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Um, The Q poster we're talking about, this is from Plastic Surgeon. The Q poster we're talking about was, in fact, on his own dedicated board. The Chans were talking about it as it was on the board, as it was happening. He was not responding to it and on. Right. That's the, this, that's the long one we're reading here. Yeah, it was posted um, <clears throat> directly on The Great Awakening. And what Q is saying, you know, they openly call you sheep cattle. There will come a time when none of them will be able to walk down the street. Biggest fear of public awakening. And I think that's the, you know, that has been the theme from the big beginning, the Great Awakening. And a Great Awakening happening worldwide. And that it's an unstoppable movement. Once people start getting red-pilled, once they start getting aware, it's going to be um, impossible to stop it. Um, the next one's about the booms, you know, the boom, boom, boom. Um, the second one, the second time he, he did, did that, Q responded to himself and said, U.S. Marine Corps activated, U.S. parentheses three. I'm not sure what U.S. parentheses three means, but, but I've been seeing increasingly, um, uh, I've been seeing increasingly the U.S. Marine Corps around Trump. Yeah, we're thinking the uh, pictures that we've seen of uh, uh, General Kelly, General Mattis, and General Dunford, all Marine Corps generals, uh, in their fatigues in the uh, Oval Office, it appears. Yeah, I think they're, uh, they're – the Marines are the service that Trump can trust the most. I mean, the Army intelligence, but the Marines um, – as a service, are really pretty much dedicated to the president's command more than the other branches, in a sense. I mean, they all are. He's commander-in-chief of all of them. But the Marines, I keep going back to what, Jefferson and the Barbary Coast, you know, shores of Tripoli, Marines. Um, panic mode, enjoy the show. I think guys like Schiff are really in a panic mode. And... Um, why are trips? That, one. that was a good one. Yeah, that's, I like that, that. that's like got us in a party mood over here. <laughs> they are in a panic mode. They don't know what to do. The Democrats just don't know what to do. They have no clue what their you know their 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 narrative on Russia collapsed. Doctor um, Corsi. Yes. Yeah, on that three, I don't know if anybody's brought it up, but it, it could also mean uh, the three Marine divisions as well. Yes, it could. It could. You know, they've been activated. Uh, it's very possible. Um, what if, Dr. Carlson, what about the rumors? I'd be scared. Mm -hmm. what, what about, about the rumors? What about activating vets for uh, military tribunals? Because there's so many tribunals, you'll need them for jurors. Might be a case, too. Five by five. Might be very definitely a case. Could could easily be. Um, yeah, that, <clears throat> yes. Now, that should be high-level officers. Right. Yeah, the only... People participating on a military tri tribunal <clears throat> would be senior officers, and um, right, command staff and people like that. Yes, yes, it have to be 
pretty select group, I would think. Um, but at any rate, uh, how about this next one? Do we get a good handle on why are trips allowed? Is that Hillary being overseas? Is that what everybody thinks in the white list? That's my guess. That was theory, was surprised. Yeah. We put a theory that the white list is a, an agreed area that have extradition orders with the, with the states. So they have movement in, within their orders and they could be extradited at any time. Mm -hmm. Could so, be. So the white list, Other... would, the white list would refer to areas rather than people. Yes. Could be. Others were thinking that it had to do with trip codes and the uh, uh, it specifically to the chance and the white list being uh, allowed information as opposed to blacklist not allowed well there's constantly monitoring I, I watch over hands there's you know constant um most recent concern was that there was some false posting as q with right. the trip code in bold where q exactly. never uses the trip code in bold i saw that i don't know if that's the reference or not this is one that <clears throat> sometimes with the Q post, you have you don't know till some things happen what they really meant. I mean, this could be one of the future proves past type of posts. I think um, Q has something in mind, but I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me to get some more tonight, actually. Um, I think Trump has gotten <clears throat> his plans together for uh, this coming week. And um, I think it's going to be a very interesting week. I doubt if the, you know, this whole issue of pressuring Mueller or pressuring Congress to get Mueller to shut down, you know, it's really Rosenstein could do it. And um, I know <clears throat> Sessions did come through and fired McCabe. So now the question is going to be, you know, whether he'll continue to come through the way Trump wants him to. Trump's posts have made it absolutely clear that he is uh, livid at McCabe and ready to go after all these people. And he will go after them. Well. Um, Speaking of McCabe, there was a report that another Democrat was going to hire him so that he would be able to get his uh, pension. Did that ever pan out in anything? No, I haven't heard that. Um, it's just like the book buying. The, <clears throat> the Democrats will probably figure out some way to um, take care of him. But I just don't know what exactly they'll. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody hires him. They'll they'll take care of him. Um, well, it's, it's, you know, go ahead. I, I was gonna say he's a multimillionaire anyway, isn't he? He doesn't really need that. Yeah, how do you make so much money? Do we know? Well, we got guys uh, donating half a million dollars to three quarters of a million dollars to his wife so there's that yep i don't know how, he's supposed to, he's supposed to have a collection of sports cars and all kinds of things isn't he i mean i've been reading about a little bit about his lifestyle wasn't she running in one of those states where they can keep yeah. uh, the excess funds too virginia right and that's probably, what yeah, she probably could keep some of those funds. Probably could. So I wouldn't dog. be surprised. No, that's fine. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised. I was just looking over at the um, HN to see if we've got anything more. Next week is going to be, I think, a pretty significant week um, in that we'll have fallout from McCabe's firing. But I think we're also going to get increased pressure for a special counselor, increased p pressure on Rosenstein and Sessions. That's really what I'm expecting to happen. You think Are the there... IJ report could come out? Pardon me? You think the IJ report will come out too, Horowitz? I don't think so next week. Um, 
maybe soon or maybe parts of it. He may release it in part. What about the DC rumor mills? Anybody said anything about Hillary getting indicted this week that you've heard? No, nothing about this. I don't think that's imminent. I think all this stuff is going to, you know, but we had a discussion on one of the last few sessions where I was making it clear. I think it's going to take over a year for this Trump counterattack to be fully in, you know, functioning and in place. Uh, you've got to have investigations. You've got to have, um, you know, we get a special counsel. We're going to have to have investigations. We're going to have to have um, a, a whole series of different things coming on to um, get the, the trials held, get in, you know, indictments to go into prosecutions. Uh, but it's going to be the next two years, I think, are going to be Trump's counterattack. If they do have a special counsel, won't her unsealed indictments be revealed? Probably. You need to get the control of the narrative before the 218, so with that we're peaking, just for the 218 midterms. Yep. See, that's what I think um, Trump is calculating, is that um, he has now gotten through the, the first round of this, the, uh, they failed to impeach him. So now the momentum shifts, and he's, he certainly sounds like he wants to get a special prosecutor in place right away and to get rid of Mueller. And then that's going to get its own dynamic going. But as that dynamic builds, um, I think Trump is going to get more and more in in, in control of the narrative. And um, in, in, in the book, I recommend that Trump uh, close down the um, press room in the White House. It's small. It's really not modern it's it's was jack kennedy's swimming pool it's really kind of a dirty little old room and <clears throat> it's really looks nice as a television set but it's a crummy room it was never really particularly well built it was never you know it's a portico linking the white house to the west wing and um i'd like to see them move the press across the street into one of the old one of the executive office buildings get them off off the grounds, make it harder for the press to have access. And, and then forget they're there. And then, yeah, I mean, d don't give them this act up hour every day where they yeah. get broadcast on television, they get to be made stars and, you know, they get to see themselves on TV. I mean, the truth is everybody sits in that room for, you know, 10, 15 minutes of questions to be answered. And it's just a big charade. I mean, you don't, you rarely get to ask a question. Um, you can watch it on TV and get the same impact as being there. And, you know, the only reason they like it in that close proximity to the White House is that they can all go up into the press area afterwards and try to get uh, permission to talk to various people in the administration. So they use that as access to work the administration between press briefings. And then to make those press briefings into big television shows. And I'd like to see him put an end to it all together and move it out of there. Dr. Um, Corsi, someone keeps repeating that a congressman offered McCabe a job in an effort to extend his pension. Is that possible? The, his pension is – you can't offer him a job to extend his pension in the um, – in uh, FBI, because he'd have to. Um, so there's been two go funded go fund me accounts set up for McCabe <clears throat> since he was fired. I see that. And Alex Jones did a broadcast last night. I listened to a little bit of it uh, about McCabe, and um, Alex has been very much on the theme of you know McCabe and. Um, his criminality. Uh, Flynn was fired because he had goods on Pence. Now, <clears throat> uh, Pence, in that period of time, I'm not sure what Pence's role really was or what, how loyal Pence was to Trump in that period of time, but I don't think, I think it was really um, um, 
the military intelligence and the Flynn knew too much. He was too much of a danger to the deep state. They wanted to get him, get rid of him. Remember, uh, Flynn would, would not go along with um, Obama and resisted Obama uh, when he was in the military. Um, <clears throat> if Congress offered McCabe a job, I don't see, is there some basis for that out there in the... There's, in Discord, there's an actual link to an article. Okay, let me take a look at that article. By Golden Note, New York Post. Democrats okay. want to give McCabe a job. Well, I'm not surprised about that. I mean, um, <clears throat> yeah, Zero Hedge has about the um, the dozens of um, GoFundMe campaigns for McCain, McCabe. That doesn't surprise me either. Mantle. Yeah, here we go. McCabe, dozens of. Yeah, here they are. I wonder how many of them will produce three thousand dollars raised, two hundred thousand. Thirty-nine people are starting a GoFundMe account for McCabe. How funny! Um, McCabe's concern shouldn't be his pension; it should be jail time. Exactly. I was gonna say, you know, the thing that irritates me is these guys have been doing criminal activity. And then instantly they go right into the victim role. Oh, me. Well, I know. It's amazing because, you know, the, they don't see anything wrong with their criminal activity. That The left the left is so ideologically driven right now. They're so, you know, uh, intolerant of anybody that, that they, they think all their criminal activity is justified. You know, it's the... Um, Somebody made the comment the other, you know, about that these would be the first people that would be eliminated if they really did get the socialist or communist regime they were they're anticipating that they want. They're the first, the useful idiots go first. Well, you know, as bad as, as, bad as these guys are on the uh, mainstream media and Hollywood and stuff like that, it's even worse in the university atmosphere. That's it's so leftist in universities. Completely. So it's here's everywhere. A, it's everywhere. The leftists, the universe, left have taken over the universities <clears throat> worldwide. And, so what, um, what can we do on the, as a conservative that values education? Where can we go to receive that education? Well, that's part of the problem. Is you know it's very hard. Uh, there are some conservative universities, but I, I think we have to put an end to the student tuition program, cut off their money. Yes. Yeah, uh, that'll. That'll force colleges to close. Um, Democrats told McCabe, if you need a federal job, call me on Monday. I'm serious. We have to stand up to bullies like Donald Trump and Jeff Sessions. If they try to give McCabe a government job, um, it'll only intensify the pressure for a special prosecutor because it will make their criminal duplicity and um, obvious. And, you know, we'll, we'll pound it. I mean, that's going to be one issue that they, I don't think they want to. And, and all, all these people, all McCabe's a victim. Yeah, well, <clears throat> they'll sacrifice McCabe to preserve the narrative and not to draw attention onto themselves to, um, um, you know, that they would hire McCabe so he get his pension, despite all the criminality he may have committed, which um, will implicate them in the criminality. I mean, the Democrats are under this illusion that they are going to have this blue wave and everybody's going to support them in the midterm elections. Uh, I think the Democrats are more and more marginalizing themselves as a fringe party. Uh, by how extreme they are and how far out to the left they are. And I don't see that this, you know, ex even in Pennsylvania, they had to cheat and steal votes in order to win a midterm special election. And they only won it by, you know, such a small margin of votes, it would have to be recount. So uh, I don't see that the Democrats are, are nearly as 
they all they they think everybody equally hates Trump like they do. Well, there's so much in their elite bubble of you know the of hard left, hate left. It, it's really become a hate left. It more than a hard left, a hate left. I, I'd like to see us develop some um, uh, memes on that and begin to develop that theme. Of the can hate they left. have the Can they have the phobia thing in there? You know, like normal phobia, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those could. That's but they this hate left is so intense on hating Trump. They imagine everybody hates Trump that much. Maybe they have Trumpophobia. Trumpophobia, yeah. I mean, it, it is a Trumpophobia. There's no question about that. Um, but at any rate, look, I think we may get some more Q posts tonight. I'm going to kind of sign off now. I've been talking for a long time, and I'm going to rest my voice for a while and see if we get some more posts. Um, been a good weekend, and um, I think we're next week you can see more of the turning point as the counterattack takes momentum. And I think that the Democrats trying to rally around McCabe and pre present him as a victim are, are going to have a hard time selling that viewpoint to the average American. Poor little okay. Satan worshipers. Poor uh, little Satan worshipers. It's just unbelievable. Okay, well, everybody, um, God bless, and we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Thank you.